Hey guys, my name is Stephen Beecham, and here's what's happening this week on CNET's Crave Blog. Making music just got even easier with the sleek looking wearable metronome from German based Soundbrenner Limited. The Soundbrenner Pulse is a vibrating wearable metronome that will silently vibrate the tempo of a song, keeping the entire band in time with the beats per minute. The metronome connects with a smartphone app and is programmable for learning, tapping tempos, and can be synced across multiple Soundbrenner Pulse devices using multi-link mode, so the entire band can be feeling the same tempo during a performance. Music students can set reminders to practice and take on musical challenges, and the app will monitor your progress over time, notifying you of your best performances. The Soundbrenner Pulse allows you to change the LED colors and is equipped with one of the best vibration motors in the world. I gotta feel that one. The Soundbrenner Pulse is currently raising funds on Indiegogo and could be yours for an early bird pledge of $115. Make yourself at home, guys. You're gonna be here a while. NASA released a video of astronaut Scott Kelly along with fellow Russian cosmonauts as they boarded the International Space Station for their year-long experiment aboard the Orbiting Space Lab. Scott Kelly and Mikhail Kornienko will be hanging around the ISS for a full year to study the effects of long-term space travel on the human body. The experiment is part of a larger study by NASA, who is ramping up preparations for manned missions to the planet Mars. I believe a good measure of success is whether or not your likeness has been made out of chocolate, and Benedict Cumberbatch has just reached that status and honor. According to a recent poll conducted by UK TV asking who was Britain's dishiest TV dramatic actor, Benedict Cumberbatch nearly beat out David Tennant, the 10th Doctor in Doctor Who, and Sean Bean, aka Ned Stark from Game of Thrones. Now the ladies can literally eat up Mr. Cumberbatch. It looks delicious. Festo is building a small fleet of robotic autonomous insects that have the ability to work together on a common task, otherwise known as swarm intelligence. The Festo bionic ants are beautifully designed and come equipped with stereo cameras for eyes, a gripper mechanism for the mouth, an optical mouth sensor underneath for tracking the ant's position, actuators for the legs, two 7.2 volt batteries that last about 40 minutes on a single charge, and a pair of antenna for self-independent charging. According to the Festo website, like their natural role models, the bionic ants work together under clear rules. They communicate with each other and coordinate both their actions and movements. Each ant makes its decisions autonomously, but in doing so is always subordinate to the common objective and therefore plays its part towards solving the task in hand. Festo also announced their beautiful e-motion butterflies that are so light they look like they're floating through the air. The butterflies require a very complex infrared camera system for tracking the ultralight aircraft's flight within a given area. If you would like to read more about the Festo autonomous insects, read more of the post on the Crave blog. All right, guys, that's the show. Thank you very much for watching. As always, you can find all these news stories at CNET's Crave blog at crave.cnet.com. Make sure you follow Crave on Twitter at Crave and check out this week's Crave giveaway. This week's Crave giveaway is the Arcos Golf GPS Performance Tracking System. Want to improve your golf game? I know I do. I always have the wrong distance on my club. I don't know which club to choose. Go to the blog and enter to win.